To get things started, please welcome me, join me in welcoming the Vice President of Software and Connected Solutions of Continental Automotive Systems, Brian Dressler. Hey, David, thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, David. Thank you very much. So, uh, welcome everyone. The obvious question is, what is an automotive guy doing at one of the largest cloud conventions in the world? I don't see a cloud in this picture. The fact is, the cloud is having a profound impact on the automotive industry. It's reshaping how car makers, are designing their vehicles, and how you as consumers will interact with your vehicle. It's estimated that nearly $600 billion plus will be generated by 2025 in the connected car technologies, services, and cloud. This is a fundamental reshaping of the automotive industry. In the past, cars looked a lot like this one. They were old, outdated, locked tight, no ability to change or update that car over the entire 10 years you might have it. But more and more, because of cloud technologies, this is how we're thinking about the car. It's one more connected mobile device in our lives, and we expect a lot more from it. It's evolving over time. The car is not alone anymore. It's not an island. It's connected to the cloud. But it doesn't stop there. We actually have a much broader vision of intelligent transportation systems, moving people, moving things, the future of mobility. We see it as part of a larger ecosystem, part of the internet of things. It's an exciting time, and Continental and IBM are working together to bring forward cars that are safer, more comfortable, and more efficient. Let's take a look at one example. As a system supplier towards the automotive industry, we are optimally equipped to bring visions of individual mobility to life. Fully automated driving. At first, it sounded like a science fiction scenario, but it isn't. It's just a kind of natural next step. So we're sitting currently in a test vehicle that we built up. 12 months ago to demonstrate automated driving. In this vehicle, we're utilizing a stereo camera, which functions just like our eyes. We at Continental differentiate in between three steps regarding automated driving. The first one is so-called partial automated driving, where the driver still has full supervision of the driving activity. Second one is the so-called highly automated driving. The driver can be outside of the driving task, the driver is more relaxed and can over different tasks, like for example reading an email or the newspaper. The third step is uh, uh, fully automated driving. Safety is a basis for automated driving. We believe that automated driving gets us to the next level towards our vision zero. That means zero accidents, zero fatalities. Automated driving is the most ambitious and the most challenging topic. So we will have huge possibilities for the future. I expect that we will influence with this technology the whole industry. By 2016, we want to be ready for offering solutions which can support partially automated driving. Applications which will be able to realize highly automated driving scenarios shall be ready by 2020. Fully automated driving can be launched by 2025. The future starts earlier with Continental. So wow, this is an amazing time. Continental is certainly making some bold declarations about how we see the future of driving. But key is that we need the cloud to make this happen. Without the cloud, none of what you see here and none of what you'll see between now and 2025 is possible. The cloud will transform how we are bringing new features and functions into the vehicle. Cars will communicate on real-time data, sending and receiving data 
in low latency transmissions, less than one millisecond, from car to cloud and back to car, of course, going through the infrastructure to manage all of this data. In addition, cars will be communicating to one another. When we talk about communications between cars and using that to create safer cars, we must address the need for high reliable communications over very potentially unreliable communications. And this is where cloud technologies play a large role. These cars will communicate to each other. This will certainly take some time. Realizing the automated car will take many, many years. However, it's a journey. And every step along that journey, we will roll out new features that because of cloud technologies will change the way that we drive. The cloud will also reinvent the development environment. <clears throat> because of cloud technologies, developers will be easily able to build applications that they can then send out to the vehicle. Gone will be the days of a large static hunk of metal that can't be changed over the life cycle of the vehicle. I'm here to tell you that the car will join the API economy. This will come. New use cases and new features enabled by you developers and you as consumers will come into the vehicle. Both car makers as well as third party developers are thinking in this way. And Continental is doing its part to do the same thing. For example, just a few months ago, we were out here in Las Vegas with IBM and demonstrating a concept that we call the electronic horizon, the idea of giving the car an awareness about the road ahead of it. Certainly today we have cameras, we have radar sensors, LIDAR sensors, laser sensors that can create an image of the vehicle a few hundred feet ahead. But when we connect that to the cloud, all of that data, in addition to knowing what's happening kilometers ahead of the vehicle, a traffic incident, a road closure, some type of weather condition, the road geometry, the slope of the road up ahead, we can use that horizon about the vehicle to determine should I shift down, shift up, and save fuel and improve safety. It's really, really exciting. Cloud will also reinvent how consumers are receiving applications in their vehicle. Developers will be able to not only develop applications in the cloud, but then deploy them to the car. To the car. Essentially, the cloud becomes the app store for your vehicle. This really brings the DevOps paradigm directly to the developer and directly to the consumer. It will fundamentally reshape and, and reinvent how consumers think about their vehicle and how they interact with it. Imagine the customer service and the customer satisfaction opportunities that a car maker can achieve by using cloud technologies. Rather than take a half a day off work, drive to the dealership, bother a friend to get a ride back home, your car, connected through cloud technologies, can be talking to the engineers that developed it. Through big data analytics, they can be looking at the fleet of vehicles, looking for trends, changes, issues, and alert you to those issues before you even know they happen. And maybe, maybe just someday, over the air updates while your car is in your garage at home, taking care of issues, but even more importantly, giving you new features and functions over the life of the vehicle maybe improving your gas mileage the next day with a new software update. It's really an, ama uh, an amazing time in the automotive industry. The car is increasingly more connected, more updatable. The cloud is transforming Continental and how we do business, and it's allowing us to usher in a new era of cars that are safer, more comfortable, and more efficient. Thank you.